I want to see the Alliance map. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. I believe you do. Now is the time to strike. Before Fulke decides Sigurd is of no more use to her. I will go now, and I will bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croydon by now. Eivor, you giant steaming bull of elk piss! <laughs> King Oswald sends his regards. Brother, brother, or is it the other way around? It's uh, good to see you, Eivor. Oh, stop mewing like a heartsick kitten! He's been moping since the wedding. There will be time later to reminisce. Are you madmen ready to spill some blood? After that bastard red, some nice soft Saxons will make easy meat for my blade. Eivor, my second favorite Norse. Must we always drift together on such violent tides? That is the way of things. Yet the meeting of friends is a glimmer of light in these dark days. Ever the optimist, though. It's good to see you both. I brought no pleasant words, only my blade. Let's see which proves more useful. Luthvina, once again we will battle side by side. Greetings from the north, old friend. And how is your... Still griping about the mess we made of Jorvik's council, but grateful for the help. To be honest, I think he's upset he didn't see the problem sooner. His pride is slow to heal. Thank you for heeding my call, friend. Sigurd will be grateful when he hears you have come. For your brother, I would upturn every rock in England. You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Guttrum Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl... I'm... sorry. You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Stay around a while and judge for yourself. Oh, I will. Have no fear of that. Aver hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we're able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I will not sit on my heels while Sigurd ruts in that she-dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendine. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. 
I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfear. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Seeker's last. You had better be all they promised. That snake, Fulke, hides behind walls of stone. But Eivor will drag her out. Still got a soft spot for him, don't you, brother? Him and Eivor? <laughs> Lower your aim, friend. You'll have better luck. Basim, good to find you here. What news do you have? Fulke remains at Porchester, just as we suspected. And as of three days ago, Sigurd was with her. Alive. That is the best news we could hope for. And how are you? I am well. And keen to see my old friend again. You'll be glad to see you, I'm sure. Guthrum Jarl, your second Soma talked often of you and your conquests. They are all one in my memory. A single great battle that stretches from my first breath to the end of this sentence. That sounds glorious. A living Valhalla. Perhaps it does. But what happens when all the dead wear the same face, and their pleas become a senseless blare? Where did Torsten die? On a field or in a marsh? We were close as brothers once, yet I don't recall where or when. Why did you come to my banner if you mistrust my judgment? I want Porchester. You want what is held within her. And I will not become king by passing up chances like this. Have faith, then. Together we will triumph. Ah, faith. The most mysterious of words. They use it a lot here in Wessex. I'm not even sure what it means. I smell blood on the air. Death is close. Did someone find the scout before me? Slain by wolves. My work has been done for me. said he would be. Interesting. This scout was carrying orders from Fulke. Basim would like to see this. I have seen to the scouts. Basim and Guthrum will be waiting in the woods east of Porchester. many dead eyes as I have. It's hard to see. The scouts are dead, and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. I found something of interest on one of the scouts. Fulke has news of Croyndon's fall. She is gathering men and supplies, perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. Do you still say I'm reckless in my haste, Guthrum? Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. Fulke was forewarned. There must have been more scouts than we knew of. What's done is done. Save your breast for the fight. Fuck 
you dogs! Back to Porchester! They flee like rabbits! Then we chase them like hounds! That ugly bastard's head is mine! Not if I get there first, slow arse! Leave him! The day is already won! If Sigurd dies today, I will find your corpse and piss on it. You bear your false deities like a plague to this land. But you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate. I decide your fate today, Saxon. I am ready for my final journey. Let me see what lies beyond. will not. Go and tell Fulke what you saw today. Tell her Eivor is coming to tear her heart from her chest. I will tell Fulke her opponent is a weakling who does not have the stomach to finish what they started. You will regret He's this dead, mercy. Eivor. No breath within him. Go. You are wounded, Broder. Let me bear your brother to the camp. He was always quicker than me. Beat me out of the womb by mere moments. I warned you the risk was too great! Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? In spite of our losses, we claimed victory here. Arguing over blame will not bring the dead back. If this is what a Raven Clan victory looks like, I cannot wait to see what happens when you lose. What happened here? Uba, Soma, you come at a black hour. I'm too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one, but Folk is forewarned now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then. But know you leave me in a time of need. What you need is to swallow your pride, raven feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor? I am no errant child to be talked down to by my elders. No. You are supposed to be a leader. So listen now. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected. Strike swift. Gather your allies. Pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Gudrum spoke in anger, but there is wisdom in what he says. We will wait for our allies before the final attack. Until then, we have work to do. First, we need a new camp. The Saxons think we have retreated, but we will draw even closer. Here. Arrive unexpected. Erke, Stowe, Lufina, right there ahead of me. 
Together, we will bring them down. It brings me no pleasure to fight my own people. But a debt is a debt. Besides, there are men of Vesex. Alfred's folk. No brothers of yours. We will set off immediately. Together, we will fall upon them as Thor's hammer. After that, we should strike at Fulke's supplies all across Sussex. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth, Gildefort, and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley. Food in Gildefort. Bridgeworth is a stronghold. Many Saxon swords there. Uba, I need your axe arm at Gildefort. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I will join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A lion's heart and a crow's cunning. Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Let's be about it. Soma and Uba, I apologize. I would have liked to offer better welcome after your long journey. I'm only sorry we could not be here sooner. We'll need a short while to organize the men. Then we'll set off as soon as we're able. Mm. Uber Ragnarsson, it puts me at ease to see you here. Welcome. Aver Wolf Kiss tempts me with a swipe at Wessex. Who am I to resist? <laughs> here we might finish the work your father began a decade back. Are you ready? More than ready. I am hungry. Now here is a welcome face. Soma. How fair is Grandebridge? We thrive, just as we did our first year. And I have you to thank for that. The risk I took was far less than you're taking now. I thank you for heeding my call. An oath is an oath, Eivor. Silver-gilded and iron-clad. What I would give to be there when he appears in Odin's Hall. Old One Eye will have his hands full tonight. But I cannot let my brother lie forgotten in unknown soil. I must take him home. Bury him with what finery I can muster. I understand. May Freya watch your way, Broder. Until we meet again. Aye. Until then. through my lands, you met my father. The two got on like tinder and flame, and soon we were married. You see, Stahl, befriended king and one is set for life. <laughs> what could be simpler? And how do you like England, Lufina? A gloomy land, full of puzzling people. But when it shows itself in glory, it is magnificent. How does it look? Crawling with Saxon soldiers like lice on a swine. The very sight sours my blood. Would the sight of their bodies in the mud please you better? One way to find out. Eivor, I beg you. Alfred's men are not, they are Saxons and Christians. If I could speak to them, we might avoid bloodshed. And lose the element of surprise? These people make their living by the blade. We should attack headlong. Lufina speaks true. In trying to save their lives, you would endanger ours. We fight. At last, a chance to test the metal of these Wessex folk. I wonder how they measure against those of the North? One way to find out. Onward! Take the Saxons' camp! The camp is ours. That wasn't so hard, was it, Stowe? Even one man's death is too many. Oh, we'll see about destroying full case supplies. How will we ever share this land if we kill one another so readily? The weak fall beneath the strong. It has always been so. No. There is more to this world than that. 
has to be. Won't be gentle. Gildeford is a town of farmers and grain silos. Upa will be nearby. All is ready? We're a town of farmers and shepherds. This place bristles with swords. One of them is a thane by his dress. Serious men with him, too. Went into the longhouse. If we take care, we might avoid drawing the thane's attention while we burn the grain silos. Ha! <laughs> Was that a jest? Bring them on! Been too long since I met a Saxon warrior worth half a shit. There will be Saxons enough to test you in Porchester. I will hold you to that. See you at the camp. If they see me, this will get missed. Richworth. A forest of Saxon swords awaits within those walls of stone. I should consult with Basim. He will be nearby. <laughs> What have you discovered? Bridge where swarms with guards, reinforced from the river. Word is that two of Fulke's finest oversee such matters. We should kill these leaders and burn their ships. Crippled and put to panic, their men will be in no place to join Fulke at Porchester. Frightened men look to their own interests. A good plan. I must be careful now. One to go. The other should be somewhere in the jungle. On my way. No more sailing for these Saxons. See you back at camp. Soma, what is happening here? Bandits, taking advantage of the disorder in Suffolk to fill their pockets. Odin smiles on us today. Let us make sure this place is burned to the ground. Fulke will get no more weapons from here. We could charge in while they are distracted, but it would be safer to use fire arrows. We burn them from afar. Watch them scatter like cats. A sound decision. I agree. Archers! Take your positions! Stand ready, Eivor! When they see us, they will charge. We must defend the men! Never! 
Enough! Crawl Ace dances with hearth tongues. Soon it will be ashes. Archers! Lower your bows and return to camp! I should return to our camp. Humboldt, this is quite a surprise. Welcome. Yes, I surprised myself for what it's worth. If I cannot be Elderman, I can at least honor my father by acting as one. My lord has sent you the best archers in Lincolnshire, and I am here to lead them. Good. We will rain death upon our enemies today. Good work, Humboldt. Be ready. Beeston, I'm glad to see you again. How is your family? Alvida keeps my house and heart in order. She has even charmed that old shrew, Adred. And Elleridge? He has not returned. I hear stories of a man full of tempests, picking fights in taverns. We must hope, when hope is all we have. I'm sorry for your troubles, but glad for your help. I have brought for you a ram of unsurpassed craftsmanship. Their gates will not hold long against it. That is a fine gift indeed. I will make good use of it. Fight hard, Eivor. When have I done otherwise? So, my Jarlskona, you seem grave. I'm thinking on the battle to come. Every conflict has a cost. I wonder who will pay this time. We are no strangers to loss, you and I. The ache of absent souls is a wound that never heals. But we may yet return your brother to your side. There is that. Fulke and her men will bear the cost today, not us. I wish I were as sure of it as you. No Ever my stones ally, Lufina. Are your men ready? They are. Bows strung and arrows fletched. We will harry the enemy from the flanks to keep them off your back. They will not have a moment's peace from us. I know I can count on you. What are friends for? And so violence begets violence. An eye for an eye, as the good book says. But soon we will all be blind. Not quite. Whoever makes the last strike should still have one eye left. In the street of the blind, the one-eyed man is called the Guiding Light. Does that holy tome of yours have a quote for everything? Eivor, forgive me. I have slain too many of my own people already. Cannot kill more. I must return to London. And you, Erke? Do you feel the same? Someone has to keep an eye on him in the big city. He would only get himself killed otherwise. We took this camp together, so I will ask no more of you. Return home, and let your friendship be a beacon to our peoples. Godspeed, Eivor. I pray you come back safe. Stop looking at me. I know you're there. Uba, any advice before we begin? Advice? You need none of that now. You stand in no one's shadow, Eivor. Lofty praise from the son of Ragnar Lufbrook. It may be that one day our paths lead us to doom, Eivor. But at least we can say the footprints we left were our own. Bishop Deola. Strange to see a man of God on the battle lines. It may surprise you, but I was no stranger to horse and hunt in my younger days. It is Saxons we fight this day, Deolav. Not Britons, and not in Mercia. It is Fulke I fight. A false Christian preaching a corruption of God's word. If I can assist in her downfall, I will. Then you're welcome here, friend.
You are quite the agent of chaos. Fulke's men are chasing their tails, not knowing where you will strike next. Porchester has neither the supplies nor the forces to keep us out now. And you have bought time for your allies to arrive. Many have come, not least the bishop here. As I promised. <laughs> As the keeper of God's word, it would be poor form if I did not keep my own. Now, if the talking is done, there's blood to be spilled. Eivor, dark news. We found a letter on one of the dead. Fulke has called for aid. Reinforcements. A Saxon army marches from Winchester. Then my men and I will ride to meet them. We will harry them every step of the way to buy you time. We may begin the assault at once, or you might wish to speak with your allies, if you've not done so already. Warm words do thaw the chill of battle fear. We march. When the sun sets on this day, Sigurd will be returned to us, and Fulke's head will be on a spike. Let us begin. I left you in Canterbury? You will die today, Fulke! But your men may live if you come here to me and settle this alone. We have nothing to settle. Die on these walls if you will. It is your choice. No wall is high enough to keep me from you. Then come! Clam your brother if you can. I shall wait with him. If you would find us. You need only follow his screams. Fulke! What will the Skalds say when they speak of this day? They will say we unleashed such rampant slaughter that Odin himself stirred on his throne to watch. They will say that ravens blackened the sky to feast on Saxon dead. So raise your swords with me now, brothers and sisters. For today is the day we carve our names into legend! <laughs> I'm coming for you, brother. So many battles and so few scores, Basil. What's your secret? I don't get it. Aha! Uh -huh. Simplest strategies are the best. Spring! 
criminals! Damn these Saxons! I will make a path! They cannot hold us back! Make your ancestors proud! here once, but no longer. Where has full cake taken? Sigurd, every instant of your torment, full cake will suffer tenfold. The Sigurd's blood. Still fresh. The church! Fulke must have taken him there! Come on, Basil! Jesus, Furke! Your cowardice betrays you! Now you... Mm, lends me strength. the strengths of two! Hey, come here! Fulke! I have done all I could to help him, Ava. The rest is up to you. No! No! Brother! Brother! I'm here for you. I have you. Let me stay with him. You deal with Fulke. I'll come back for you. I promise.
You cower from me, Fulke, like a rat in the dark. We are all in the dark, Ava. It is the search for the light that brings us closer to the gods. Save your babble. Death is our language now. You fight beneath the banner of ignorance, Ava. I could pull back the curtain for you, give you a glimpse of what lies beyond. I need nothing from you. A pity to kill one with such potential. Are you afraid, Fulke? My cause is greater than you can comprehend. The light of the morning is all I need to guide me. Why do you hide, coward? You have power, Ava. Maybe more than you know. No more words, Poison Tongue. Even when I offer the truth, you refuse it. You are more like Sigurd than you know. Do you not wonder, Aver, at the things I have learned? Every word you say is madness. Sigurd is an ancient one. An archon. Nephilim. Isu. Call him what you will. He is reborn. He is my brother and my Jarl. And you are mind sick. He is everything we should hope to be. Fulke! Damn you to hell! Nobody touch her. She's mine. You are too late, Haver. I have opened your brother's mind to the truth. That is my victory. And you will go with me to the grave. But my work will live on for all time. we are. Spit and vomit. Shit soul. Sigurd is so much more. I gave him that understanding. That gift. You gave him pain. Yes. To awaken him. Pain 
machine was necessary to free him. Sigurd, Eivor, I will, I will fight. As a thresher through a field of weed, mad one. What has she done to you? Eivor, we delayed them as long as we could. Reinforcements from Winchester have come. Get Sigurd to a boat. I'll hold them off till you're safely away. Fight well, Eivor. Find us at the settlement when you can. Archers! To the wolves! Let us... Damn these Saxon dogs! Don't make him up! Stand with me, Uber! We'll turn the tide! Down! Run the offside lead! Stand down! Is that the last of them? We have beaten them back for now, but without Guthrum's army, we do not have the numbers to hold this fort. We found Sigurd. That is what matters. Guthrum was hasty in his judgment, Eivor. You are fit to stand with the best of us. Go to your brother. The words of one beloved will heal him faster than herbs. I will see to matters here. May the gods guide you, Uber. Until we meet again. So my Jarls, Connor. It seems we have won. A great victory. Not even these walls could stand against us. This land will be ours in time. What now for you? Uba and I will go west, driving the Saxons before us. Alfred will not hold a crown much longer. I hope one day to see you both there. I would like that. There is uh, one more thing. What are you doing still talking to me? Enough goodbyes. Go to Sigurd. Yes. Be well, Uba. What are you doing? <coughs> How did you like the taste of battle? That was... exhilarating. <laughs> Reminds me of my younger days. Had you not delayed those reinforcements, we might never have succeeded. You're brave for a priest. Do not underestimate the faithful. We give our lives to a god we cannot see or touch. There is no greater bravery than that. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> you look pleased with yourself. Smell that air. Smells like victory. Smells like blood and brains and the soiled underclothes of dead men. Aye. Isn't that what victory smells like? Perhaps to you, our stick. I'll take roasting meat, warm mead, and a fire. Ah, you always were soft. Get on with you. <laughs> Lufina, I'm glad to see you made it through. Be proud, Eivor. You found Sigurd against the odds. I found his shadow. 
I must hope that the scars Fulke has inflicted on his mind will heal. Sigurd is strong. He will take more than pain to break him. You did not see him. There was an emptiness in his eyes. I am sorry to hear that. Let us hope for the best. <coughs> We could not have taken this fort without your archers, Humboldt. My thanks. Oh, it was nothing, you know. All in a day's work. I may need call on them again one day. Ah, was this not the only... Right. Because I was hoping... Well, never mind. <coughs> Beerston, your ram was invaluable in breaching this fortress. A trifle in comparison to the great service you have rendered me. You will have a good story to tell Alvida upon your return. There is that. But battle is not so thrilling and glamorous as the stories tell. I shall have to spruce it up a little. <laughs> Rolo! Returned from Frankie already? This is a surprise. Is the Lady Astrid well? She is. Had a rough few weeks upon our return, but she is on her feet and with her family. And I am looking for a new adventure. If I remember right, you said I might find it here, with your clan. That's right. Your presence is much needed and well appreciated. Settle in, and we'll sail soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice a year. What? You took your time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne. I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh yeah, we'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch Fulke do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen, what I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war, a Roman Mars. I know who I am, I know my destiny, and you will not hinder me! Brother. Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Cheer, one and all. Today is a day of celebration. Our Jarl is with us. Tonight, let us drink and eat in honor of his return. And now, now I will delight you with a poem in praise of the man. A new composition of my own. Randri. Sigurd has been through so much. Be patient with him. Of course. I cannot imagine. The savagery of that woman, Folke. For all her wretchedness, she seemed to... to like him. I know that sounds strange. How do you mean? She claimed to know him, to admire him. Said he was a greater man than we could ever know. Yet for all her praise, she tortured him to the brink of madness and death. I do not understand why. In time, Sigurd may come around, and if he does, he may be willing to speak. 
Ranvi. Have you spoken with Sigurd yet? Not yet. Soon. I need to get back to the... the... Basim, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate. But tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. In the cemetery, his mood is dark. There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid, unblemished. I offered him a way out. But... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. For all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand, but all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look. This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend returned to where he is loved and cherished. Where he is meant to be. Kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past, a place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. You look well. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast, and when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he is barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. 